Hi guys, Jason Nicole here on the Outer Farm. I've actually got Nicole on the back of the camera today doing the filming for me. Hi guys. What we're gonna talk about today, guy, is rain scald. Over the last two weeks here on the trial property, well, even on the Outer Farm, in the area, vicinity in general, we've had in excess of 200 mil of rain, which has dropped in the last two weeks. So in the last two weeks, we've had a total two days of sunshine. This being two and a half day mark. And what's happened is our young calf, bully calf we just had two weeks ago, was born in the rain, and it's been cloudy, rainy conditions ever since. It only cleared up two days ago. And now he's got a bad case of rain scald. So that's what we're gonna talk about now, and we're also gonna talk about the treatment and how we're gonna move forward and help that heal. I'll give you the definition of rain school, guys. Well, I've done my research on it once I found out what it was. What rain school is, it's a skin disease. It's, it's, it happens on all ages of cattle, but in particular, young cattle. And what it's, it's caused by bacteria. I'm not even going to try and, and pronounce the bacteria it's caused by. You guys can look that up online. Just look up rain school if, if, if you want to and find out what it is. But like I said, it is caused by a bacteria and it's commonly associated with wet conditions. As I said, we've had over 200 mil of rain here in the last two weeks and no sunshine. If you have a look behind us, well, unfortunately he's just left. So I think we did get a picture of him in the video as I mentioned it. But if you have a look, if you rewind your video back, check out his rear back leg. That's what it looked like, guys. It's basically the hair has fallen off. It's also called skin rot. So the hair has fallen off and it's that red raw skin of the hide that's left. So as treatment wise guys, there's what we found is that there's no actually completely effective treatment, um, particularly for severe cases, which our little fella seems to be pretty severe. We'll show you in the video when we get him in the crush. Um, there are many antibiotics out there, and but the, probably the most effective one of all of them would be the penicillin. Also they're saying keeping them dry and bringing them indoors is often a lot more effective than the treatment itself. So. Where we are now is down in our crush, so it's got a roof over it. So what we plan to do, because we've still got to sell graze them through the paddocks, so there's no areas in there that they can get under trees or get out of the weather. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave all gates open to this sheltered area, and hopefully when it rains, they'll come back in and stand under there. So keeping them out of the rain and keeping them out of the moisture is what we plan doing. So as for the treatment guys, I know they said there's no really effective treatment, um, but we just can't leave it the way it is because it is pretty severe. You see when we start treating him, but further than just giving him the shelter, which they can hide under when it's raining, what we're gonna do guys is, I know friends of the family have also done the same thing and they said it works on their cattle. So we just got basically Milton tablets, which are the antibacterial tablets you use to sterilize the kid's bottle. So we've dissolved that as per the dose on the back of the container in water. We sterilize this bottle first guys, so what we plan doing is spraying that on, so that will actually reduce the chance of infection on the affected areas. And then once it's dry, we're gonna add sorbeline, which is your, just your common sorbeline you get from the shopping center for your hand cream. And what that does is that helps relieve dry skin and itching, which comes with the dry skin. So hopefully that'll give him some relief for the, for the pain he's got, or oh, sorry, the itchiness and dryness he's got. But we also done further research and better than sorbeline, which we haven't got any at home, but, and we really need to treat him today, is coconut oil. What, what coconut oil's got in it is, it's actually an antifungal and antibacterial properties in the coconut oil as well. It's got the uh, advantage of being a water repellent, which would have been perfect to hear, because I know we've got rain coming up, tomorrow or if not tonight over the next three or four days so the little fella not only has been wet 10 days out of the last 12 he's got another seven days of water coming his way so hence why we give him the roof right guys we'll uh head into the treatment now we'll do the practical side of it and we'll show you once we complete the treatment and he is better we'll also add it to the end of this video so stay tuned guys yep mm -hmm. come on girl Come on girls, good girls, good girls, good girls, good girls, good girls, come on men, come on, come on men, come on girls, good girls, 
down. Good 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 down. Guys, I'm getting a cold scan over. I've got him in the crush now. This is what it looks like, guys. You can see on top of his neck there, it's pretty bad, pretty scabby. So, then, like I said, that's only happened in the last three days. So, it progressed pretty rapidly, guys. So, we're going to treat it. It's also on the other side of his leg. Right, a guy, we've applied that Milton spray now, the antibacterial spray. It's had a chance to dry. I'm going to add the sorbeline to these areas now, guys, to try and help stop soothe that itching for him. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Right, guys. So that's the that's the sorbeline being applied, guys. So that's the treatment. We were supposed to go away this weekend, um, but I think the little fella's more important, so we'll postpone it and have to do it a week later. Our plan. So we'll, this treatment they recommend doing every day. It's going to take a minimum of a week to help the little fella out, but unfortunately we got five days with the rain, so uh, we'll keep you updated, guys, at the end of this video, how it went. What I want to do now, guys, is give you an update on the little bully calf that was born during all that rain and the rain scald that it had. So it's been a week now. We've had full sunshine for the past week. So we did treat the little fella probably four days in a row. Uh, what we did was, like we said, we sprayed that Milton on and we gave some some hand lotion every day to try and soothe the itching. And when it stopped raining, we stopped the treatment and it was supposed to rain again for another seven days. So we're getting ready to pick it up, give it more treatment, but uh, it actually stopped. So like I said, this has been seven days straight of sunshine. What I'll do is I'll try and get close to the little fella and I'll show you how much hair he did lose and what he actually looked like now. So he's definitely come ahead leaps and bounds. Every night, every afternoon, when we move in his cell, he's jumping around like a uh, typical teenager. So he's definitely on the mend. And he's suckling mum all right. So yeah, it's just gonna take time. It doesn't look good with all the hair gone, but it does grow back. All right, guys, I'll uh, turn it around and I'll give you a look. She worked out this well, guys. Mum's gonna go past, she's going in the shade. So there's a little fella there. You can see he's lost a fair bit off the back leg, his top and his ears and off the flank and off his neck. But yeah, we were a bit worried there for a while that it was going to keep raining. Every time we got him in the crush to give him more treatment, uh, there were handfuls of hair coming off. We're at the point where if it's going to rain for the week, we're going to give it a couple of days and we're going to bring the vet out. Because apparently you can give him penicillin. So we're going to give him that treatment. But uh, luckily, the weatherman got it wrong. So it actually stopped. It didn't rain at all. So yeah, there's the little fella there. Oh, he's taken off. He's in the shade, so... I'm just trying to get a bit closer, give another look before I uh, say see you later. Yeah, see his back legs there, guys, and around his neck. Yeah, and under his belly. Right, guys, this is an additive to the end of this video. So what I thought I'd do is I'll show you now. It's been six weeks since he was born, and it's been three weeks of sunshine. So like I mentioned, the little fella behind me has had three weeks of rain prior to our treatment. And as you can see, he had really raw skin during the video hair was falling off. If you have a close look now, guys, you can see the light color. So all the redness has gone off your skin now because it had three weeks of sun and the hair starting to come back. 
that's that light brown color. So it's well on the mend of repair, getting better. And like I said, every time we move him now, he's jumping around, he's got his spring back in his step, so 100% recovered. Once that hair grows back, you won't even know that he's had the rain scald or the rain rot. Yeah, it's getting stifling hot out there, guys. So the girls convinced me to come under this tree to finish this video off. They weren't going to stand out there and uh, finish the video off in the sun. So, righto, guys. Have a good morning. Have a great afternoon. And have an awesome evening, guys, wherever you're watching this from. And uh, we'll catch you later.